Hey everybody, this is Brandon from betteratEverything.info. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the change space command. Um, you'll see pretty quick why this one comes in useful, uh, comes in handy. Uh, it's super useful for drawings that you get from somebody else that might have been sent to you from somebody that does things a little differently, or you can also use it to uh, when you have to move around a, a paper space layout and stuff like that. I'll show you what I mean right now. So as you can see, I've got a, a base plan here. It's got some property lines, and somebody has written site location, drawn an arrow, and highlighted their property. But they've done this in layout space. Uh, as you can see down here, we're in the layout tab, and we're in my better at everything template, which you can get off the website. But we're not in model space. So when I switch to model space, that stuff's not here anymore. So this can be a pain if you need to move the extents at all. So if you see, I unlock the viewport here, double click, and say I need to move the drawing to the right because we got to focus on a piece of property over here as well. This information is now in the wrong spot. It didn't move with it. Now if I undo, and undo again, I'm back in here. Um, there's an easy way to move anything that's drawn in the layout space back to model space and then you can also use it to move things back again. Uh, this is useful if you would like the labels out here uh, which is possible sometimes if you're trying to put labels like this over a whole bunch of data you can simply uh, you can see there's a background mask on you can just mask them and it goes over everything really easily uh, I still don't like to do any labeling in layout space, but some people prefer it. So, you get a drawing, it's got this kind of stuff on it. Simply type in ch space, the word space, as you can see at the bottom there, ch space for change space, and hit enter. It'll ask you what you'd like to change the space of. So you're going to select, I'm going to just select all of my stuff right here. You can pick it any way you'd like and simply hit enter. You can see I'm now in layout space, uh, the black border here, and all this stuff is now transferred into layout space. So if I click outside and I go to model space now, everything's been switched over to model space for me. It's all been scaled correctly and now if I go back to my layout space or paper space, I can double click in here and move the drawing and everything moves along with it. So, say I've moved the drawing, and I can see the property over here that I want to reference. I go back to my uh, paper space here. They're not in here, so I can't select them. What if I want to bring them back? So you double click, go back into model space, type ch space again, hit enter. And we're going to go through and we're going to select all of our things. We're going to hit enter, and there we go. They're back. In paper space. So that's how change space command works. Uh, there's many, many useful uh, things you can do with it. Uh, this is just one, but I'm sure if you use your imagination, you can find lots of uses for it in your day to day life. Uh, that's it for this video. Make sure you uh, subscribe to keep up to date with all my new ones. And please, if you have any uh, requests or questions at all, you can email me at admin at better at everything dot info you can also comment on these videos or check out the website better at everything dot info thanks